the shill media websites are still trying to find a way till this day to deny Super Mario Brothers their ultimate success. Now, the funny thing is, even though they have to come out and actually admit that Super Mario Brothers is destroying Disney every which way imaginable, they still try to find a way for Disney to try to come out on top even if it's completely made up, or in this case, it's not made up, but I think it's a far shot of something that Disney could even hope to make that would combat this kind of movie, and I'll get into why. But what are we talking about? So Screen Rant, and good old Screen Rant, has come out with an article that says Disney still has a brilliant secret weapon to combat Super Mario Brothers the movie, and says the Super Mario Brothers movie's box office success has totally embarrassed Disney. Well, I'm glad they were able to admit that. But one Disney-owned video game property can bring Bring the studio back. Now, what IP are they talking about? Is it The Sims? Is it Mega Man? It is definitely not The Sims. They are going to be talking about Mega Man. Disney actually does own the rights to Mega Man. And if they were to come out with a video game movie for Mega Man, they are viewing that as hardcore competition for good old Super Mario Brothers. But here's the problem with that, okay? And this is what I wanted to mainly talk about before we get into the article. So please consider liking this video to push us out into YouTube algorithm. But what I wanted to talk about was the fact that even if Disney were to actually come out with a Mega Man movie, right? If they were to come out, let's say, let's say they announce tomorrow that they have a Mega Man movie in the works. Is anybody going to actually be excited for a Disney Mega Man movie? Now, the reason why I asked that question is not because I wouldn't be excited to see a Mega Man animated film. I honestly think I would be excited to see a Mega Man animated film. And I'm sure there is plenty of other people who feel the exact same way. The problem with that is you just know damn well if Disney makes a Mega Man animated film, Mega Man is going to be trans or something to that extent. Like they are going to wokeify the hell out of a Mega Man IP that is not going to be what it was. And that's the issue. That's the disparity between Disney and somebody like Universal, for example, even Nintendo. That is the disparity. You have other people like Universal who are creating source material based IP movies and then you have Disney that's creating pandering pieces or political statements. They are not in the same business and so with Disney, even if they had a secret weapon like Mega Man for example, if they even want to consider Mega Man to be a secret weapon in comparison to Mario, I don't. I know both IPs are big but let's be real, Mario it's definitely the bigger IP and the more well known but that's besides the point if they do want to consider it to be a secret weapon they don't have the people necessary to make a proper Mega Man film nobody in Disney has the right mindset the right creativity the right anything in order to create a halfway decent animated Mega Man film they will ruin it all the way to the end guaranteed and they're going to wokeify the hell out of it which is going to turn off a lot of families it's going to turn off a lot of parents who would normally have taken their kids to go see this movie they would not go see a Disney Disney Mega Man film and neither would I to be honest with you I just really wouldn't but let's see what this article has to say it says the Super Mario Brothers movie has become a blockbuster hit something that Disney hasn't had for a while well good I'm glad you're being honest but the House of Mouse has a video game property of its own up its sleeve the new video game movie has become a phenomenal success as it broke five opening weekend box office records it had the highest grossing Wednesday Sunday opening weekend ever and is on track to make over a billion dollars the film's box office success is a blow to Disney, which has struggled at the box office with the recent animated movies. Yes, that is putting it very, very lightly. To say that Disney is struggling at the box office is definitely putting it way too lightly. Disney is bombing at the box office. We use aggressive words like that for a reason, because it is absolutely true. Disney is 100% bombing hard, and that is Disney's fault. It is nobody else's fault other than their own. Their movies are woke trash. Most of them are identity politic based movies, and they are not meant to entertain you. They are meant to virtue signal to certain groups. They they are meant to try to preach to you. They are meant to try to indoctrinate you into a certain mindset. That's what they really are for. Otherwise, they don't exist for anything else other than that. They've had a couple of pieces that have done well, decently, but none of them have been animated for at least the past couple of years. And with the amount of money that they lost on Strange World and Pixar's Lightyear, God knows how much more money that they're willing to lose before they get the point. 
So it says Disney, which is generally regarded as the gold standard of animation, which I did admit before they were considered that, has become an animation empire with its own studio and Pixar. Hasn't had a bona fide hit in years. Strange World bombed at the box office, making just $73 million worldwide. Before that, Pixar's Lightyear made only $226 million, despite being part of a multi-billion dollar franchise. However, Mario is Disney's biggest nightmare. Disney still has a way to compete with Illumination. One of the studio's unused properties could be the gold star that it needs to compete compete with Illumination's plumbers and I just don't believe I don't believe this I don't I'm sorry I just don't believe that Disney has what it takes to make a freaking good animated live action uh I, I don't want to call it live action but animated Mega Man film they just don't they will turn this into complete and utter trash I am telling you they are going to do some bullshit like make Mega Man trans and they're gonna say well it was never explicitly said that Mega Man wasn't trans you know what I'm saying like they're just gonna come up with stupid stuff like like that they're gonna pull an Amazon rings of power on us. It says after Disney acquired Fox in 2017, every single property that belonged to the studio was handed over to the House of Mouse, and the 20th Century Fox had hundreds of properties at its fingertips. One of them was the movie rights to Mega Man, a fun platforming video game made for Nintendo, which also happens to have a huge fan base. Disney hasn't taken advantage of the acquisition, and few former 20th Century Fox properties have been put into development. While Fox was developing a big-budget Mega Man movie, it was one of 200 Fox movies that Disney canceled following the acquisition. While it isn't as popular as Mario, Ma Mega Man is still a giant video game series that's owned by Disney. As animated video game movies are so successful lately, with, okay, let's stop that right there. Just because Super Mario Brothers is very successful doesn't mean every other animated video game uh, movie is going to be successful. It all depends on who's making it and whether or not they respect the source material to the point to give the fans what they want. If they're going to take the movie or the IP and make it uh, preach to you uh, current day identity politics, then that's not going to make it do very well, I would guarantee you. It's been proven time and time again. I mean, Lightyear is probably the best example of this, and they also tried to run this entire marketing thing where if they said, if you don't like it, don't watch it, and guess what? People didn't watch it, and they lost hundreds of millions of dollars. It is such a hilarious thing to see uh but again they double down and triple down all the time it says, and with countless Mega Man games, there's so much material to pull from, which is true. An animated film in the same vein as Super Mario Bros. movie is the perfect approach to take with Mega Man, and it could put Disney back on track when it comes to box office successes. The film could be full of Easter eggs, just like the Illumination movie, and it could be the start of a potentially long-running movie series. While again, while all of this is true, and I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that Mega Man could very well do uh, very good in the box office, as long as it is respectful to the source material. Disney is incapable of doing so. They can't help themselves. It's impossible for them to do this. I'm telling you, Disney just can't. They don't have it in them. Disney has to shill. Disney has to virtue signal. They have to do identity politics. If they don't do identity politics in every single movie that they come out with, they're going to get canceled by the same woke mob that they are trying to pander to every single day. So Disney will never do this. Disney is not going to make a good Mega Man film if they even make one at all and I think they are more happy with letting uh, Nintendo and Universal just take the win from them and admit defeat at this point and just keep it moving so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe I would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out